Write a program to check if a given number is palindrome in Java. Let us consider a number 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Now, if this number is reversed, we will get the number 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. So, even after reversing, if we get the same number, that number is referred to as a palindrome number. Now we have to write a program in Java for checking if a given number is palindrome. Let us see what the program will be. This is the program. We have imported the java.io package. This is the palindrome class and within the class the main method is given. That is public static void main string args throws io exception. Here the input output exception is caught. And within the main method, the variables are declared as follows. And the number is got from the user. For reading the input from the command prompt, the following statement is given in Java. Buffered reader in is equal to new buffered reader of new input stream reader of system.in. And then the read line method of the buffered reader class is used for getting the input from the user. Every input that is got from the command line is treated as a string. So the parse int method of the integer class is used for converting it to an integer type and is stored in the variable n. Now comes the logic for palindrome. The number n is stored in a temporary variable and this for loop is used for the functioning of checking whether if the number is a palindrome or not. Now a for loop is given where i is equal to 0 that is the variable i is initialized to the value 0 and the condition is that n must not be equal to 0 and i value is incremented. Now r is equal to n percentage 10 that is the reminder that is got when n is divided by 10 is stored in the variable r and n is equal to n divided by 10 that is the quotient is stored in the variable n. Now s is equal to s into 10 plus r. This is the main function for reversing the string. Later after executing the for loop we are checking if the value that we have stored in the temporary variable is the same as yes that is the reversed number. If they both are same the number is a palindrome number else it is not a palindrome number. Now let us check if this program is working. Let us first compile the program that is java c palindrome dot java. Now we have not got any syntax errors. And the program has been compiled. After compiling the program, the dot class file will be generated. And now we can run the program that is Java palindrome. Now we have to enter the number. Let us say 1001. Now if we reverse this number, we will again get the number as 1001. So the result must be this number is a palindrome. Let us check. Now let us again check for another number which is not a palindrome, 1234. This number is not a palindrome. So our program is working well. Now let us look at the logic of the program. Let us say that the number entered by the user is 101. Now we are storing this number in the temporary variable that is 101. Let us look into the iterations of the for loop. The value of i is initialized to 0. Now the value of n is 101 which is not equal to 0. So the condition is true and the loop will execute. Now within the loop r is equal to n percentage 10. That is the number 101 is divided by 10 and the remainder is returned in the variable r. So for the number 101, when it is divided by 10, the remainder will be 1. So now r will have the value 1. The next step is n is equal to n divided by 10. That is 101 divided by 10 
will give us the result 10 which is the quotient. In the next step, S is equal to S into 10 plus R. The value of S is initialized to 0. When multiplied with 10, it will give the answer as 0. Plus R, that is 1, will give us the result 1. Now, S is equal to 1. Let us move to the next iteration. The value of I is incremented to 1. Now, the condition N will be checked. That is, n should not be equal to 0. Here, the value of n was changed to 10, which is not equal to 0. So, the condition is true and the loop will execute. Here, r is equal to n percentage 10. That is, the remainder when 10 is divided by 10 will be 0. Next, n is equal to n by 10. That is, when 10 is divided by 10, the quotient will be 1. Now, s is equal to s into 10 plus r. The value of s from the previous iteration is 1. So, 1 into 10 plus r that is 0 will give us the result as 10. So, let us move to the next iteration. Here the value of i is again iterated to 1. So, now it becomes 2 when checked with the condition that is n is not equal to 0. From the previous iteration, the value of n is 1. So, 1 is still not equal to 0. So, the condition is true and the loop will be executed. Here, r is equal to n percentage 10. That is, the remainder when, that is, the remainder when 1 is divided by 10 will be 1. And next, n is equal to n by 10. That is, 1 divided by 10 will be equal to 0. And next, s is equal to s into 10 plus r. The value of s from the previous iteration is 10. So, 10 into 10 plus the value of r in this iteration is 1. So, that is 100 plus 1 which is equal to 101. So, now this iteration is over. The next iteration will be like this. The value of i is again incremented and now it will become 3. And the value of n is checked. From the previous iteration, the value of n is 0, so the condition is not satisfied and hence the loop will not be executed. It terminates here. And the next step in the program is the value of temp, that is 101, will be checked with the value of s, which is also 101, from the previous iteration. So now, since both the values are equal, the number is a palindrome. So this is how the program works.